Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Lana. I'm going to be filming my April TBR in this video. So, uh, I want to bring back my TBR jar prompts and see if uh, I can get lucky and be able to um, get some good reading in. I will preface though that this month I am going to be, there will be a week where I'm going to be going out of town and I'm going to go visiting one of my very, very good friends. Maybe I'll vlog that experience, I don't know yet. So, I don't know how much that's going to affect my reading or not, but we're still going to go ahead and give it a try. I think I'm going to go only pick out five prompts, um, and I, if any of the prompts fit like my spring TBR books, uh, any of the books on that list, then I definitely will be pulling them just to make my life a little easier. But if not, that's okay, and I'm just going to be giving this a go. So, we're going to start. Let me go ahead and pull from this one. Let's see. Oh, perfect. So this one is to read a new release. So that's going to be fun. Um, I got to figure out what I want to read. So as I'm thinking of that, I'm going to pull another prompt. So that's one. So two is going to be, I'm going to dig a little bit deeper and see if what I can pull here. Oop, another big one. Oops, things are falling. We hate to see that. Oh, dang. Okay, so this one is going to be the oldest book on my TBR, either by pub year. I gotta think on that and decide how I want to do that. I don't know. These are interesting prompts that I'm getting. Alright. Next, and now I'm going to reach at the very bottom. See if I can grab, because I feel like I always miss the ones at the bottom. I feel like there's one, there's ones I always pull and there's ones I don't even remember. Oh, goodness. <laughs> so this one is Book of the Month book. So before uh, I cancel my description, like, I think fall of last year, I was getting a bunch of book of the month books, but I was not reading them. And that's why I just canceled my subscription because I just was not, it wasn't productive. It was draining my bank account and I wasn't actually reading them. But I still have a few that I have not actually taken the time to read. Um, some of them I did give away eventually, but some of them I kept that I thought I would be interested in reading later on. So I'm going to think on that and see which one I want to try, I guess two more prompts that I want to pull. So we're going to pull from this one from this very top right here. Um, pull this one. Okay, let's see. Oh, re- oh, here it is. I'll put it here. I don't know if you can, you can see that. So, read a book by a Latinx author. So, anyone with that type of background I need to read from. Which I think I have some good options. Alright, and then the last book. What is this last prompt going to be? Okay. So this one is going to be a book over 300 pages. We have pulled all the prompts. So I have read a book by a Latinx author, a book over 300 pages, oldest book on my TBR, read a new release, and then a book of the month book. So I'm going to go look at my shelves and see what I like. And what I'm interested in. And then I will get back to you guys once again. I am back with my book choices. So now let me tell you about them. So starting with a book of the month pick. Or book, whatever. I chose The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. I've had this book on my shelf for forever. So it's finally time that I should read it. Because I've seen so many people hype about it. And all this kind of stuff. So... I'm going to go ahead and commit and jump in and, and read this. I've never read a Taylor Jenkins Reid book before. I know she's been the book girlies pick for quite some time. I just have never gotten around to it. So, this is going to be my pick. Am I going to like it? I have no idea. But we'll see. Alright, so the next, for the oldest book on my TBR, I chose to do The Rules for Disappearing by Ashley Elston. So, this is one of the older books oldest books on my TBR and I think it's just finally the time that I read it. It's been just sitting there so 
I want to go ahead and get rid and read it so I can decide whether I want to uh, get rid of it or keep it. I'll probably more than likely get rid of it, but just to go ahead and get it off my shelves. The next book I picked was A Ruinous Fate by Kaylee Smith as my pick for a new release. So this came out in January of this year and I am really looking forward to checking it out. I actually realized that I don't really know what it's about. I don't know too much. I saw the cover when they were doing the promo for it and I was like, that's a pretty cover. And then from there, I was just kind of going to pick it up because of the cover. So this is a cover by, essentially, is what I'm saying. <laughs> and then for a book over 300 pages, I... I'm hoping by this point that I have finished my Throne of Glass read-through. And if I have, then that means that I am going to be trying to start my Court of Thorns and Roses read-through. And so that is the book that I'm going to be trying to read in April. It is over 300 pages. I think it's specifically like 412 or something like that. But it fits the prompt, so we're going to go with it. I'm so scared because the book girlies, even my friends, all love this series. Or like, obsess over it or have some strange weird feelings about it. So, I don't know where I'm going to land. I have no idea. So, we're going to see. We're going to go with it. We're going to just give it a try and see what happens. So then the next and last prompt that I pulled was a book by a Latinx author. And so for that one, I decided to continue my read through of this author's books. I've been like, I think I've read two out of maybe like four, five, six so far. Um, and that is Gods of Jage of Shadow by Silvio Moreno Garcia. I really loved The Beautiful Ones. I think it's my favorite book of hers so far that I've read. But I actually enjoyed Mexican Gothic as well. So I want to give the rest of her books a try and see if I could enjoy them as much as I did those first two. Um, so this is, I think, one of her older backlist titles. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a try and see how much I enjoy it. Um, I think it's something about a woman and a god during, like, Mesoamerican time, maybe. Um, but I don't really know. And I kind of just want to go in not knowing because I did that with the, like, previous two. I didn't really know much about what was going on for The Beautiful Ones and Mexican Gothic. And so I feel like with, with Silver Mariano Garcia books, when I go in knowing, like, the least amount of information, I enjoy them a lot more. So, I'm going to go ahead and give that a go. Alright, and then for extra things that I want to read in April. So, for my buzzword, the buzzword prompt for April is emotion. So, I'm going to be reading Happy Place by Emily Henry. If you've been watching my channel for a bit, even though I took my hiatus, I really enjoy Emily Henry books. I have pretty much enjoyed all of her books so far. My favorites have been Beach Read, and I really did enjoy her last book, Book Lovers. So if I had to rank her books right now, it'd be Beach Read, Book Lovers, and then People We Meet on Vacation, which I enjoyed that one as well, but just not as much as the other two. So I'm really excited to, to read Happy Place and see where it gets ranked among her books for me. Um, I'm really hoping that I enjoy it. I believe it's a second chance romance, um, along with like, childhood friends maybe um i'm not really positive but i'm just i'm I, I have no preference i'm just gonna dry i'm just gonna dive in i don't care what it says i'm filming this a little early so i don't really think i have any other like buddy reads or extra reads in mind right now but if i do you'll probably just see those in my wrap up um because me and my friends do crazy things all the time so that is my April TBR. Thank you all for watching. Um, let me know down below uh, what you are going to be reading in April because I would love to know and and see. Um, if you like the video, go ahead and give it a good old thumbs up. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, please leave all that in the comment section down below. And if you want to see more videos from me, please hit the subscribe button. You are also lost in a world full of leads. Also, hopefully by the time this video goes out, I am going to be trying to do reading sprints at least twice a month or every other week. I don't know. Twice a month. 
Um, so for the next couple of months, hopefully, if I can commit and follow through, uh, just because I'm trying to get back into the the motions of my channel and interacting with people and just committing myself to really reading and all that stuff. So we're going to be working on that. So if you'd love to join me, um, that would be great. So yeah, your awesome lives are full of weeks.